Hey guys, in today's video we will be learning how to solve an ordinary differential equation using Scilab. Now, here is a differential equation right in front of me that is dy by dx is equal to minus 2x minus y. Now you must know to solve any differential equation you need a boundary condition, an initial boundary condition such as here that when x is equal to 0, y equals minus 1 and you might need to solve y for some and for some other you know x like here we have when x is equal to 0.4 I don't know what y is and my question in exam says to find it out and we can make use of Scilab to do so which does it quite efficiently and very easily and m most important part is that it does it very accurately now let's switch over to Scilab right here so here I have already typed in the commands for solving this particular differential equation at 0.4 when x is equal to 0.4 in fact and let's go step by step to find out how it is done. Now before starting from the first line I would like to tell you about this function in Scilab. It is an inbuilt function called ODE which can be used to solve any differential equation and this function usually takes up four arguments that I have given here and these arguments are you know um, very essential and quite basic for solving any differential equation now what y0 stands for is it is an argument that means that what was the initial value of y and in this example as we can see that when x is equal to 0 my initial value of y was minus 1 so I have given y0 is equal to minus 1. I have assigned the value minus 1 to y0 and x0 as the name suggests is quite literally the initial value of x and as you know in this example we have that x is equal to 0 so assign the value 0 to x0 and then t here is the value of x for which you need to find out y and as in the question here we have that we need to find out y when x is equal to 0.4 so I have assigned t a value of 0.4 now another important part or the most important argument of this function is f which is your differential equation and let us um, you know see how we define f now if you are familiar with Scilab then you must know how to define functions in Scilab if you aren't then I would suggest you check out my another video on functions but for the time being I just explain it briefly so here's how you define a function in Scilab suppose we name the function f and it takes up two arguments x comma y so now you know that the name of the function is f and it takes up two arguments and you can name them whatever you want and also another important thing is that this is the syntax to define a function and you always start with function and then you end with end function also this dx here is the value returned by the function so in this case since I want the function to return minus 2x minus y which is my differential equation therefore I have assigned minus twice x minus y to dx which would be returned whenever I will call this function so I hope I made that clear for you he, um, let me just give you a quick revision of that that f is the name of the function x comma y are the arguments that it takes whenever it is called and dx is the value which would be you know returned whenever this function is called and you can assign the function or the ODE or you know the equation of the differential equation right here and you can name it for, um, by another names like you can name it function ODE or whatever uh, I guess you can't name it ODE as it is a you know predefined function but you can name it whatever you want unless it is um, previously defined in Scilab and also you can name this thing also whatever you want it is just a vector or variable or whatever you want to call it and then let's come to the you know this part now the solution of the OD whenever I call this function ODE Scilab will take these initial values and it will find out the value of the function f at t which was which was the required question or the required problem or answer so 
here I am storing this value in sol which stands for solution and then you can display this solution by using this sol comma answer so let's see what we get in the scilab console um, let me just arrange it in a better way so here's my um, you know scilab console and here is my you know program so you can run this program by clicking right here which will save and execute this program and as you can see I get minus 0.8109602 as the answer um, let me just clear the screen and then run it again so the answer is minus 0.8109602 and to ver verify if it is correct or not we can check out our um, as you can see I got this answer when I perform the calculation analytically um, and the answer is quite same up to five digits and I guess it is accurate even further but I have not solved it for further accuracy so I hope you understood now how to solve a differential equation in Scilab it's pretty easy you define a function f or whatever you want it and you, you enter the differential equation right here and then what you need to do is you need to give the initial values you need to find out uh, you need to give the value at which you need to find out the answer and then you call this function and pass the initial values as well as the function in here so that's it for today see you next time have a nice day mm -hmm.